Welcome back, everybody. Just looking over the city. Get a good view from up here on the uh, Tower Bridge. And I can go head over this direction. You see our customs building right there. And I've smoothed out all this area for building so we can build some new stuff. And today we are going to be building in this area right here. I thought I was going to take over this whole corner, but I think that may be too much. So maybe just, let's see if I put another row of dirt right here. I think I maybe I'm just going to put my wall. Yeah, so the, I think the back wall is going to be right here. So what I am going to build today is another of my franchise grab-and-go burger shops. There's one on the other side of the city, way over there. So I was thinking of something to build. You know, something that you're getting, you're getting, you've been on a ship, you've just docked out there, and you come into the city, and especially if you've been at sea for a while, what, I mean, what would you want? And I'm thinking you're going to want a grab-and-go burger. Except you're not going to have to grab and go. The other one, uh, the other shop I made was basically a little walk-in burger shop. But today we are going to put in a much larger one. Which is going to have a, a sit-in area so you can sit and eat. I think it's going to go probably over here. Boy, this is getting bigger than I thought it was going to be, but I, that gives me plenty of elbow room. And I've got something else that's going to go here. Yeah, and that can actually go in the corner and go straight over to that side over there. So maybe right here. Yeah, and that can give me a, a couple, two or three rows of grass and then this would all be my other store and this actually makes it so it's not going to be cramped at all so we got plenty of elbow room and I still got plenty of room over here for what I need to build I'm just hoping I've got enough blocks because I, I went out to the Mesa and got some terracotta and stuff. But at that time, I don't think I planned on this big of a building. So we're going to put dirt in there. Essentially, the base of this is going to be probably too high. And it's going to be white terracotta. I'm just going to outline everything with the white terracotta like this. Let's just lay down a whole stack. And then I've got this um, light gray. So that is going to be the floor. So the floor is light gray. The walls are white. And then I've got some uh, actual real terracotta highlights. This time I don't have to uh, make up a palette because I'm following the model that I have over at the other place, which I built quite a ways ago. And all I have to do is reproduce that over here with the same style, add in a bunch of seats. So I'm picturing this area here where we're at is going to be where the seating is. Because most of the time you walk into the restaurant, I'm going to come in here, so the door would be right about here probably. You go back here, this is all going to be seating. 
I imagine the counter would be right about here. So we'll have a counter here. We'll have some cooking areas over here. And then this actually, this area over here actually, I believe, is going to be a, like storeroom and offices. Because a lot of times I don't put any place for the uh, managers or to actually store their inventory or do any of that kind of stuff. And that would actually be in a building. So I think this whole area over here would be office. This area here would be all the cooking area. So there's a counter. They'll come to the counter here. We'll have a little drink dispenser area probably over in this area. We'll have some uh, cooking grills all the way through here. Probably a prep table here. Well, if this is this, let's see, let's see, this would be the counter. You're standing right here and you got your counter right here. Behind you, you, this is only going to be probably three, maybe two. So this would be two here. So this would be your counter. And then right here would be like a short wall. And then all your cooking area would go on back here. So you'd have your prep tables. You would have your grills, your fry machines, all over there. So against the wall. And then through here, door, and then this would go into the office area. I think maybe a narrow hallway right here. And then maybe a couple offices and a storeroom back here in this far corner. So I've really expanded on I mean, the other one is a one roomer, <laughs> a one room building with just a, uh, a counter in it selling burgers cheeseburgers and fries so, so this is more of the flagship store and i imagine this would be a bigger well i don't know the other side may be more popular area with people oh no creeper i'm goofing around here in the dark and we got creepers like i said being with this huge corridor here i'm picturing a lot of people docking and coming through this it just looks more grand on the other side it's a little more cramped and condensed and i've kind of widened out over here so that kind of makes sense i got a bigger building right there anyhow let me get some sleep get rid of these mobs because they are starting to annoy me and I'll get started putting up the walls and stuff. And I gotta get rid of that creeper. My, well, my bow is over here. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Well, I got kind of carried away and went ahead and finished the whole building. So I got the, uh, this white terracotta normal terracotta and then for the roof uh, that's just birch and cobble so it matches the uh, burger shack on the opposite side of the city since it's the same franchise or same brand so now we have a, a one huge one huge room in here so this is going to be the counter. I think I'm going to actually put a small wall here. So with that. Anything I'll need to do. Let's go through here and raise this up all the way. That way I won't have to worry about mobs or lighting way up here. So something like that. 
And then we'd have the door going into the back. So this whole area up here where I'm one rounded is going to be seating. This will be the counter. So I'm going to put that there. I finally had to run through here and put a bunch of torches because this is becoming a mob farm. Because I've got everything else is so lit up. As soon as you get anything dark, you instantly get a bunch of mobs. So this would be the counter. I'll put a couple lecterns across here. So that'll be like the check-in, or not check-in, uh, cash register. So then out here is where the chairs are going to be. So I'm just getting rid of the torches so I can... Uh, See what the lighting should be. And I thought I'd bring in the birch when I bring in the chairs. So we'll like make a booth back over here. If not, let's see if I do. It kind of gives it like a little bit of a modern flair. And I kind of like that. Like I said, I got to worry about the lighting. Because as you see, it's really dark in here. But I do have a lantern. But I don't have a chain. Well, if I do like that, that kind of helps. That's going to light up quite a bit so if I put these every uh, like three they're all the way to the front so this will go here this will definitely have to be a counter to check in or to purchase stuff because it leads right from the door so that only means I just need to get around this corner here. I thought, I thought I had some chain. Don't see. Oh, there we go. Pretty sure I had chain. I did. So maybe if I just hang. light above the table a smaller booth there and a bigger booth here so that I thought the jungle uh, pressure plates would actually kind of mix in with the terracotta. It's kind of a lighter, lighter brownish, pinkish brown. Yeah, and then here I can do the light over that table and then a light over this table. That lights up almost everything through here. I guess the only other thing I could do is maybe like a light there. Let's go here and then I think. Oops, let's let's actually push this all the way to the wall. So I want to give like plenty of room on either side of the door and plenty of room in between the tables. So I'm thinking I'm going to do like singles here. Well, that's way too close. Yeah, I can get plenty of room in front. 
and then we'll just have you know, like single tables all through here. Well, that's not good. And really, let's actually expand this out. Uh, silk, silk, silk touch. I mean, it's only a pane of glass, but I want it. Yeah, so let's actually leave a little bit of space in between like that. Is that going to be enough counter? I think that'll be enough counter space. Yeah, because like over here, actually, you know, over here, no, this would be too cramped. I ain't really, I'm going to get rid of this. It's just cramping my style. Oh yeah, and over here, if I, sorry if I sound a little scattered. Drink machines right there. And then I just need to put some boosts in the rest of the lobby. So let me go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, and put my table back in. But that kind of gives you a good idea how the lobby is going to look. So I just have to put a few more booths in here, and then we can work on behind the counter. Boy, that burger joint came out huge. I didn't expect it to be that big. It's bigger than the uh, customs building. I guess burgers are more important than customs buildings. So I made a few banners. Grab and go. And then I actually made burgers. So let's see if it'll fit. B. You know, that would actually fit if I moved it over two. Yeah, let me move that over two. See if that fits better. They are much better. It actually fits really good across the front there. So we have our grab and go burger shop. A little bit of landscaping also. Have the main eating area, our dining room. Lots of little booths, lots of lighting. Don't want any monsters. And then you got your counters here where you purchase your food. We can get cheeseburgers, french fries, and hamburgers. That is all grab-and-go burger sells. So we got beverages here. You go back behind the counter. The counter is pretty simple. It's just got three registers. Uh, a little work desk here. And then you get to where the grills and stuff are. We have a bunch of fry grills and stoves and other stuff and a work uh, workstation here for uh, a prep prep area to put the food together and then uh, order up area here so you can take it and give it to the customers pretty standard and here's that short little hallway I added back here and we've got an office for one of the managers uh, another office I was gonna make a break room and then uh, forgot and actually put in an office I was actually gonna make an office and a big break room 
And then when I got done, I ended up with two offices and a storeroom. So the employees are going to have to take a break someplace else. But there we go. I did a lot off camera today. Mainly because I kept forgetting to hit record. But I don't think uh, it's going to hurt the hurt any. So I'm going to kind of sign off for today. I think this looks uh, good. And then next up, I've got another shop right here. It's going to be much smaller than the grab and go burger shop, but I like that big brass, not brass, but big, bold, brassy sign across the front. That's kind of cool. Anyhow, on that note, I'm going to say thank you for watching. I'm getting a little loopy because it is late, late, late at night. So have a wonderful day and I will catch you all later. Bye bye.